Amanda. Amanda, what are you doing on my bed? I was lonely in my room. I needed a companion, so I came to sleep in your room. Amanda, please stop harassing me, okay? Huh? If you mean? need companion and you cannot stay alone in your room, why don't you call Rose to come into your own room and stay with you? Or better still, you join her in her own room. Amanda, I have told you before now that a man and a woman do not sleep on the same bed except when they are husband and wife. What is stopping us from being husband and wife? Meanwhile, this is your veins. Is it blood or water that's running in there? Please, go back to your room, okay? Go back to your room. I should leave. Go back. Okay. Is it safe? Don't even know what this time. Instead of being in the bedroom. I don't understand your father. Today he is warm. Tomorrow he's cold. I think it is high time he told me what he wants from me. If he's not going to marry me, let him say so. Let me leave his house. Amanda, look, whether daddy marries you or not, you're not going to leave this house. You're my mother's cousin. You've been with us all this while, so it doesn't make sense for you to think of leaving now. Rose, age is not on my side. I can't waste any further time in this house. Let him make up his mind about what he wants. At least let me go out and do something better with my life. Okay, just calm down. First thing tomorrow morning, I will talk to Dad about this. Better. You better. Just relax, okay? So, what about coming upstairs? I'll be alright, just go on. I'm not feeling sleepy yet. Daddy, good morning. Uh, dear Rose, morning. How was the night? Beautiful. That's good. Daddy, can yeah. I talk to you for a minute? Oh, I'm all ears, my dear. Go ahead. Daddy, since I have successfully gained admission into the university, mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, don't you think you need someone to take care of you while I'm away. I mean, someone to wash your clothes, cook food for you. You know, just take care of you generally. Come on, my daughter. I can see where you're coming from. Amanda sent you to me, eh? <laughs> Dad, it's not that. It's just that I sincerely think you need someone. You know? Since my mother is no longer alive and I'm going to be away for some time. Mm. I think you need someone to take care of you. Rose, I am not interested in marrying any other woman. It will never form part of my bargain. Daddy, you are not being fair to Amanda. That woman desires so much to take the place of my mom. And she's such a nice lady. Why don't you just give her that chance? Please. Rose. I said, get out! Just go and do what you want to do today. Well, 
since you said that you need the money for your children's school fees, I have this yeah, for you. Ah. Yes. 300,000 Naira would not be enough to pay the school fees. These fees are paid in dollars. And if I convert this into dollars, it is worth nothing. Um, Monsieur, <laughs> you have this money. Give it to us now that we are still alive. Good afternoon, sir. Rose, good afternoon. How is your dad? He's fine, sir. Did he send you to me? No, I, I came on my own accord. Um, okay. Sir, I was wondering if... Um, I'd like to see you, sir. Please. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. Excuse me, then. I will be right back. You see what I'm saying? Money has turned him into an animal. I mean, me, his senior brother, I'm sitting down here with other brothers, sitting, and then the daughter of a gardener comes to call him and he walks out on us. Are you talking of a gardener's daughter or about the little money? This is just 300,000 naira to pay school fees for children in America. And that is my brother. So, what can I do for you? Um, sir. <coughs> I have come to ask for your help. You see, I'm about going back to the university. Yeah. And I feel there is need for my dad to get married. You know, because he needs a helping hand. He needs someone to help him, someone to keep him company, help him out with the house choice and all of that. Hmm. That's very good. It's very good. But I have spoken to him about it. He doesn't want to listen to me. I don't know why. Maybe he's looking at my age or maybe he thinks I'm a baby. That's why he doesn't want to listen to me. Uncle, I think you're the best person to talk to him. I'm, I'm very sure he would listen to you. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking that you please help me talk to him on my behalf to consider what I said. That's no problem. It is very good that you have taken such uh, deep interest in your father's welfare. That's very good. I, 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 I will do as you have requested. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, it's all right. It's, it's very good for young people like you to have the interest of their parents at heart. Well, sir, he's, he's the only family I've got. That's all right. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'm sure he'll listen to you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Bless you. I'll be on my way now. That's okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, bye-bye. Bye. So ask him to see me again. I will, sir. All right. Okay. <laughs> Rose, you're welcome. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, Chief Madu said you should see him. What for? Did you, did you tell him anything? No. I only want to tell him that I'll be going back to the university. So he gave me the message. Okay. Come, Elia. Come and sit down. Come. Sit down. Sit down. Rose, I don't want you to feel bad about this issue. You see, marrying another woman means tearing oneself apart. The woman will definitely take away the love I have for you. I, I, I do not wish anything or anyone to come between us. This is why I've been avoiding an intruder. Having you, my dear, is like a fulfillment for me. Please try to understand me, my daughter. Understand? Daddy, Auntie Amanda is different. She was my mother's cousin. Besides, she has lived in this house right from when I was a child. It's not like she ever had a problem with mother when she was alive. Rose, you are too young to understand. Amanda having lived with us is different from having her as a wife. I mean, you, you never can tell the true character of a woman until she gets married and begets a child of her own. 
that I think the problem here is that you have made up your mind and you're not ready to change it. Wear this thing from both sides. I mean, it's morally wrong for you to dump Amanda after all these years. You know one thing, Rose? You disgust me a lot when you sound so persistent. You look so much like your mother. She would not stop at anything in prison for her desire. And you have to stop that karma. Drop it at once because I was once married and I'm not going to marry again in life. Am I understood? Madu just insulted me. Me. How do you mean? Did he refuse to give you the money? What he offered to me is so little compared to what I asked for. Yes. You know, he gave me only 300,000 naira and I had to return it. of your own. How can you? I am not a beggar. And the person we're talking about here is my own brother. I expect Mezier to treat me just like a brother. Just look at yourself. Did you hear yourself well? You're not a beggar. Are you better than beggars? What is the difference between you and a beggar? When every morning your family will go and parade themselves before your younger brother asking for money. How can you differentiate yourself from a beggar? And remember, there's this saying, a beggar has no choice. So, if you know what is good for you, go back to him and ask him to give you the money. I am not going back to him. I tell you, someday, someday, Maisie, we need my help. so conceited, I am ready to humble myself, go to him, and ask him to give me the money. Now choose. Are you going back to him, or should I go? Go. Him? I'm not going back. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. You don't need to shout. Don't go. Me, I will go. Because I don't need it. And then you Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Natal. Nice, sir. Uh, sir, my daughter told me that you said you wanted to see me. Yes. Yes, I asked her to tell you that. Please, uh, sit down. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> yes, uh, Rose came to me, expressed her desire that... Uh, you bring in another woman, you marry another wife, who is going to be um, a helpmate. What do you think about that? 
uh, sir, my wife's cousin, Amanda, is the one screaming all this. She is manipulating rules. But, sir, I am quite convinced within me, beyond all reasonable doubt, that bringing in another woman now will bring disunity into my family. All my life I have lived peacefully with my late wife. May her soul rest in perfect peace. And my daughter, I, I, I do not desire anything to come in between me and my daughter and the love we share. Mm. And um, don't you think it is the same love that you share with your daughter that is making her think so greatly about your welfare? I, I, I reason along with her anyway. I think you need to remarry. You need to marry another wife. You can't stay alone. Hmm? Anyway, just uh, think about it. Okay, sir. I will think about it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, you're welcome. Uh -huh. um, be be before you leave, mm. uh, later on, uh, remind me, I will give you some money for Rose, uh, for her pocket money. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, let me go back to my work. Right. Okay, sir. Daddy. What did you tell Chief? Daddy, nothing. Now, go in there and pack your things. You are going to school now. Did you hear me? Daddy, I'm not going back to school. I won't go back to school until you find somebody to take care of you. I said go and pack your things. You are leaving now. Right now. Daddy, there is no way I'm going to school without this matter being resolved. I will marry Amanda to fulfill all righteousness. Oh my god, that is fantastic! But, bear this in mind. What? I will blame you if at any point in time I regret this union. Back go for me, go for me, daddy. Nothing bad will come out from Amanda. Trust me, nothing bad will come out of her. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. You made me so happy. Thank so, are you ready to begin to prepare to go to school? Yes! Yes, of course I am. But that would be first thing tomorrow morning. Come on, Cheryl. Okay. I'm back. There is money you rejected. Oh. Take now. I think you don't need it. Take. <laughs> you won't believe what your brother Mezier told me today. Mezier informed me that the only heir to his wealth is his son and not any of you. That's impossible. Mezier's wealth is what we have all been living for. And no one can take it from us. I know what to do. Uh -huh. I know what to do. Then you start doing it very fast. Talk some sense into him. He doesn't need any sense. <laughs> Monsieur does not require sense. <laughs> All this one first. As if you don't want it. Obani, do. <laughs> no, no. I don't pay hundred thousand now. <laughs> but when a man has millions, billions, and he gives his senior brother this, the man who trained him in school. Over, hold this one first. Then you can get more. Look okay. at this place, Kufis, in America. Oh, we are 
Okay, good to have you here. Yes. So what's going on? Fine, fine, fine. So I don't know. Would you want to go into school now to commence registration or would you wait till tomorrow? My dad did not give me my for registration, so I have to wait. But I'm sure he'll send it to me. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me keep the going. Good to have you. Stop! Yeah, but you have to take me around the campus today. I need to see everywhere. Yeah. I thought you'd be tired though. Look at this girl. <laughs> I want to have five children, three boys and two girls. First a boy, then a girl, then another boy, and another girl, and finally another boy. What do you think? I have a problem here. What is it? I want to send some money across to Rose. So first thing in the morning I would have to leave so as to be able to give the money to her. But what is bothering me is how to report to my master that I won't be able to come for duty tomorrow. Okay. Let that not bother you. Okay? You can give the money to me and I'll take it to Rose. Hmm? Okay. As I was saying, when I have the first boy, I'm going to name him Emmanuel. And the first girl, Emanuela. What are you going to name the second boy? The I'm really bothered. I'm really bothered on how Rose is managing to cope with the school accommodation. In fact, if I have all the money, I wouldn't have allowed her to squat with anybody in the first place. I wouldn't. Can't you just dwell on matters concerning you and I? Eh? Must every discussion we have revolve around Rose? Every minute Rose, every second Rose, you're standing Rose, you're sitting Rose, you're lying down. What is it? Can't we discuss like husband and wife? I'm tired of this, oh. Ah, Rose, Rose, oh, give me. I'm tired of it. Let's talk about me and you. Ah. Good night, Amanda. Can you imagine? I'm going to have the five children. What is it? Look, I'm, I'm getting really worried. What about? This is quite unlike my dad. He was supposed to send money for me for my registration. Mm. But I have neither heard from him nor seen him. Till now? I may just have a course to start going home because like, there's really nothing much I can do without getting registered. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to travel home. Yeah, I just remembered. My cousin Bruno, he's my closest cousin. He's coming here today. Do you know the good thing there? He lives in the same estate as you. Yeah, I just remembered. So whatever message you have for your father, you can just pass it to him. And he's good as delivered. Wow, great. Yeah. So whatever message you have for your father, you can just pass it to him. Oh, fantastic. That will save me a while. Yes, come in. Hey. Hi. Um, so welcome. I'm good. Good morning. Hi, pretty. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. You see, uh, I'll just tell him Rose, my friend, here about you. So what's the gossip all about? See, Rose here, she's pressed, okay? She needs to get across to her father. And they happen to live in the same estate as you, okay? It's all about her school fees, so she could register and resume lectures. Okay. Mm. I'll be going on a business trip from here. It may be late by the time I come back. Oh. Let me see what I can do. How much are we talking about here? About 20,000 naira. 20,000 naira? Only. Okay, when I'm going, Rose should go with me to the castle. I'll hey. give her the money. No, 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 no. Thanks, but that won't be necessary at all. Look, my, my dad is going to send the money over to me. I was just wondering if you could just do me a favor and pick up the money for me from my house. It's okay, Rose. Um, you don't have to bother yourself. You can return the money if your father sends the money to you. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I can't. 
I mean, I'm just meeting you for the first time. It's not proper for me to take money from you like that. See, stop the street shows. Bruno here is my closest cousin, okay? He's a good-natured man and that's him for him. He's only trying to offer you a help and please don't turn it down, please. I'm really bothered so you could resume lectures, register and start off, you know, please. Okay? Okay. Good. Thank you, I, I really appreciate it. But as soon as my daddy gets it across to me, I'll, I'll pay you back. I okay. always count on you. Yeah, I do. Thank you. So I do. Hungry, broke, everything. You're making it. I'm painting, you know, <laughs> eh? Just to look good for you, mm, eh? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, this is uh, 30,000 naira. Okay. Give it to her. Uh, let her use it to offset her registration expenses. Okay. And uh, this one is for your transport. Thank you. Ask, um, ask her questions and know how she's coping with the problems at the school. Your message is as good as delivered. Just hold on, let me pack up this makeup and I'll be on my way. Right. While I'm gone, make sure that you get something to eat. I will. I already I will. made you something in the kitchen. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Amanda against my wish. I don't love her. Maybe with time, I will get to develop the love for her. Well, time will tell. Has your problem been resolved now? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's uh, okay. It's all right. Uh, Oga, do you hear from Ken at all? Oh, Ken? Yes, sir. Yes, um, the mother traveled to New Jersey. Okay. When she comes back, she's going to brief me. Okay, sir. Okay. Oga, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your concern. Okay. It's all right. Okay. I'll just keep working again. Okay? Oga, uh, is there anything you want me to do? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just continue your work, okay? Okay. All right, sir. Good. All right. Uh, this flower is it dying or what? Oh no, no, no. I, I've been, I've been, I've been watering it. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yes, so keep working. All right. Come right, stop it. <laughs> I have met my friend, 
This is my stepmother and my aunt. Her name is Amanda. Oh, really? That's my friend Alice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Please come make yourself comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Does it mean she's your stepmother? Of course. She's young. Pretty. Thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you. Very you came to see us. I came to see how Rose is very. <laughs> Auntie, it's been really tough. It's been very, very tough. I'm not happy that Daddy did not send me money before now. Um, Rose, unfortunately, your father did not give me any money for you. He actually asked that I come and see how you're faring. You're joking. Wait. Wait, Amanda, let me get some. He says that as soon as he gets the money, he will send it across to you. What? No, I don't believe this. The, I. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go there and pack my things. Go back home since he's not ready to train me in school. No, 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 they don't belong to us. Any day your father loses his job, we will leave the house with our bags alone. You have to manage. No. no. Amanda, no. There is nothing you can tell me. For Christ's sake, what are we talking about here? This is just my registration into university, for Christ's sake. That is just what we are talking about. I still have a very long way to go now. How am I supposed to cope? understand nothing good comes easy oh my god no you're driving me crazy because you don't seem no, to understand no, what i'm saying i'm so what are you saying we have to start now tomorrow no, four good years you. this is true she has been suffering since she hasn't done her registration you she hasn't started going understand. for lectures i understand oh no i understand mm. even the father understands you have your poor father what do you want this man to do you really want him to steal what you see What's going on here? Rose, how are you? Hi. This is Rose's stepmother. Hi. Bruno, Rose says she's not going to continue again. No? She says she's packing her bags and she's returning home. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Rose, please, can I have a word with you outside? Please come. Staying around to help the family out of my magnanimity. Besides, how could a young, beautiful woman like me be married to a poor estate gardener like Rosie's father? Hmm. Now I comprehend the entire situation. <laughs> well, uh, in which block do you stay in the estate? I stay in block five. Am I free to visit as well? Oh, you're free. Beautiful. With all pleasure. Okay. How was it? Okay. It's 
just the stress, you know. The devil was so exhausted. Ah. The stress of taking transport. Sorry. Oh. Did you see Rose and uh, how is she? She's fine and she extends her regards. Okay. Although she complained that the money you gave her was too small. <coughs> but I explained everything to her. In fact, I even had to give her money from the transport fare that she gave me. Oh, Monica, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you don't have thank to you. thank me now. Rose is our daughter now, isn't she? How do you say it? thank you? <laughs> I hope you had something to eat. Yes, yes, I've had something. Okay. Let me quickly go upstairs and take it back and talk to you. Okay. Hmm? Who knows when next Bruno is coming? Hmm? What did you say? Bruno. Hey! <laughs> Somebody is madly in love with my curls and hair. Ali, stop. What? He's just a friend. What is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this friend of yours, you miss with your all of your heart like this. Why, why, why are you so fond of preempting issues? Okay. No, you can go. To be yourself. Oh, just stop. Look, I came here to study you. I didn't come here to do boyfriend. Let me just tell you. Indeed. I know. <laughs> but please, drop that book. I know you're not reading. Your heart is somewhere else. You're not concentrating. Whatever. Drop this. Just stay on your own. Oh, Bruno, please come. Oh, somebody is madly in love with you. <laughs> I don't know you. I'm like, please. Bruno, please come, come, come. Somebody is dying here for you. Early. Yes. The night was filled with memories of you. I had to see you as soon as it was daybreak. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> um, I was wondering, is it a bad idea? Amanda, stop. Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? You know I'm in love with Rose. And she's your stepdaughter. I told you, I am not her stepmother. Oh my God. I wonder, please. Would you ask me to sit? Thank you. I'd like to have something to drink. Anything as sweet as you would do. Where could this lady be all this while? Where did she go to? to buy some new clothes for Rose. And where are the things you bought? Um, there's this friend of hers that lives in the estate. I had to go and give them to her because she's going back to school tomorrow so she can give them to Rose. That's very good of you. What you would have told me, you would have told me at least I would have given you some money to enable her buy other things. I just didn't want to bother you. I felt since I had some money on me, I could... Well, uh, unless you're saying you want to refund them to me. So, how much did you spend? 
5,000. 5,000 Naira only. That was all I had on me. What? I'll give it back to you. Thank you. Hey, Amanda. I must confess that I love the cohesion that exists between you and Rose. You keep it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ever since I set my eyes on you, my life has never been the same. Um, I have to confess to you, I always think about you all the time. Well, I, I always think about you too, all the time. The truth is that I have found undivided love in you. Same here. Um, anyway, there is a letter. I want you to have me drop this for my father. Please, and tell me to give it to him. Amanda! Amanda! Yes, dear. Let's go. Please help me wash off the clothes I left in the basket. Um, it won't be possible to do because I'm going out. Where are you going to? The market. And on my way back, I was stopped by the church for counseling. And I was thinking too that um, before I come home, I should stop by at Rose's friend's place and ask after Rose from him because he just came back from school too. What? Did I hear you say he or she? He. He. What's wrong with that? Rose has a boyfriend. Amanda, please, please, just stop there. What's wrong with that? She's grown enough. Stop there. Stop okay. There. I'm leaving. Okay. Yeah. I will. All right. <laughs> please come back earlier. No. Yeah. All right. yesterday she sent her regards to me or to her father to both of you but she specifically gave a letter for her father where's the letter don't worry i'll give it to you before you go i don't like the fact that you visit rose very often in school do you know how jealous it makes me feel every time you talk about her? Amanda, but you know I love her so hey, much. Hey, hey, hey. Amanda, you don't have to misunderstand me. Please, say this. That's the letter. Dear Daddy, it is so unfortunate that I have been abandoned in school. How do you want me to cope with my financial obligation without a dime coming from you? You even sent Auntie Amanda the other day without giving her a dime. What is in the letter? None of your business. Got to go. Amanda. Amanda. Oh, please. Just leave it be. You know that I'm so tired. Mm. I thank God that you decided to do this washing yourself. I see. You sound so much like a very lazy woman. Eh, whatever. Mm. <laughs> All the same things, eh? Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, my dear, 
Yes. There is a problem. What is it? I just saw Rose's friend, and um, he told me that Rose needs 10,000 naira. He says it's urgent and obligatory. Rose. That girl is becoming too expensive for my liking. Too expensive. <sighs> what do you expect of a daddy's girl? Hmm? It's just that in this case, I, I think she's being honest. Amanda, you will never ever find anything wrong with whatever she says or does. It's not that. I'm a woman. I should be able to tell when a woman is being honest and when not. Hmm? Okay. All right. Let me see what I can do. Now, this is... This is 10,000. Mm -hmm. Hurry now. Go and get it to the person so that it gets to her as quickly as possible. Uh, okay. I'll be back soon, eh? Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Mr. Nati is so okay. Block 9, block 1. This is my letter. And it looks like Rose's handwriting. My God. There's no letter inside. Okay. I'm sure Rose will be glad to receive it. You mean you're mischievous enough as to mock your own girl? No. no. Listen, in case you do not understand it, Rose's father is a poor gardener. What? And I think it's important that you get that into your head. Well, it's a pity. Where were we? Oh. you told me in the presence of my brother, Ben. Well, I suggested to him to give you his brothers a share of his wealth. But he categorically told me that none of you, not even you, Ben, would get any of his wealth. That everything he has belonged to his only son. You mean Nezé said all this with his own mouth? Ask me now. No, he said it with his nose. Ben, Ben, what are we going to do? A whole lot, Oba. The question is, where do we start from here? Mezier is good to outsiders and contemptuous to us, his brothers. I suggest we start with all these strangers living in this estate. Yes. We start collecting rent from all of them. Since our brother Mezier does not need the money. Then we list out their names and visit them one after the other and negotiate their rent. Yes. Mr. Ide, that uh, chief security man, a man he picked up from the streets. The old man? Yes. And Yellow, the one living in Block B on 6th Avenue. So many of them. Don't like forget Nati. 
Now to the gardener. Don't forget him more. Include his name. I suggest we propose this to Mezier before we carry it out. And if he refuses? We will still carry it out. Hmm. Well, if you have to seek his consent. That goes a long way to show me that you people are not resolute in what you want to do. Because you and I know very well that Mezier will never, ever, ever support you. So why seek his consent? Bothers day and night about how to raise money for you. Since yesterday, he neither ate nor drank. He's been going round the neighborhood trying to see if he can get some money to send to you. Please, just don't add to his problems. Look, it's all right, Amanda. It's not like I intend to add to his problems or I intend to stress him. It's just that. Anyways, I'll still have to go and see him. Um, why don't you just go back to school? Because hmm? all this while that I come to visit you in school, I give him the impression that all was well with you. And if you come back and say otherwise, it will only break him. Please, just go back to school. I still want to see him. You know I haven't seen him in a long time. But I'll, I'll just try not to give him any negative impression. Promise? Promise. I'll try. Okay, then. That's all right. Um, is Bruno around? Yeah, he is upstairs. Okay. Daddy! Oh, my beautiful bro! How are you, I'm fine, thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. You're welcome. You look good. Thanks. Amanda, where did you find Rose? I didn't find her. I met them on my way in. Oh, I see. Daddy, I came because I was missing you. Oh, I missed you too. And now that I've seen you, I'm just so full. That's good. Cool. That's good. Cool. Daddy, meet my friend Bruno. Bruno, this is my dad. Bruno, so nice to meet you. You're welcome. Thank you, Zoe. Bruno helps me a lot in school. Um, so I have to run along. I just wanted to see how you're doing. You, you mean you won't even spend a night with us here? Let's go back. The holiday is just by the corner. Mm. So you know how it is now. I'm always here with you. So take care of yourself and don't bother trying to get money from me because I am just fine. All right. Okay, so um, I'm sure Amanda is taking good care of you, right? Uh, yes, we, we are trying. Okay. <laughs> I can see you. It's really for your body. We anyway, Daddy, I'll, I'll come around. Let me okay. go. I'm late for lectures already. All right, Amanda. All right. Take care of Daddy for me. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. Bye, Dad. Don't they make a lovely couple? <laughs> oh, well, you've not told me that. <laughs> <sighs> Amanda, I don't feel so comfortable seeing Rose with male friends. I don't know, how well do you know this young man? I'm as surprised as you. I met him today for the first time. Is he different from the one you send messages through? Entirely different. In fact, this one I said I've never seen him before. Look, I think it is high time 
You talk to Rose when she comes back. Advise her to sever her relationship with men. Especially that one she al I always go to give money for her. I don't know if he's a student. The way he throws money around, I don't know how he makes his money. That boy must be into some kind of crooked business. <laughs> Definitely, I will stop her. I have to do that. I mean, it, it, it won't all go well for her. I will stop her. Rose? Yeah. Have you bought the finance textbook? No. How then do you wish to submit this assignment without buying the textbook? Of course, you know it's compulsory. You can't submit that assignment without the textbook, you know. I'll just forfeit the assignment then. You mean you did not come back from home with any money? <sighs> My sister. Hmm. The situation at home is even worse than I envisaged. My father is running a risk of a heart attack because he cannot afford to pay for my education. Oh dear. I've just decided to stop bothering him, you know? Oh. I can't afford to worsen the situation any further. Mm. No, you really can't. You can't. So how then are you going to cope? I'll just resign to fate. And God will see me through. It is well, okay? It is well. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this. Please it's just. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, 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 my baby. Hi. The whole house is feeling your feminine touch. Mm. What do you say? Um, well, I'm just saying that I, that I love you. As if you mean that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm. Don't do that. I'm not doing anything. I will not do it again. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do that. I'm not doing anything. It's okay. No, I'm just, yeah, no, just, no, no, I'm going to go. Don't start, I have to go home. You have to go home. Too late. Yeah. You know that one will oh be waiting to stop it. <laughs> it's okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now you're talking. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> oh. 
we, your brothers, have met and resolved that since you do not give us enough money for welfare, we might do ourselves some good if you oblige us to start collecting rent from so many people who live in this estate free of charge. At least it will serve as a source of income for us. So, who and who are you talking about here? Well, there are so many of them in the estate here. You know yourself. Look at Mr. Ede. Look at Yellow. Look at uh, Nat, the, the, the gardener. There are so many others. No, no, no. Look, look. If my brothers have decided to make money, that is beautiful. That's good. But they should also think of a way, a means of making the money. They don't think of making the money within the confines of this estate. Money is made through hard work. Enough of your insults. Where could this woman be at this late hour of the night? Could it be she went to Rose school to see her? No. She couldn't have gone without letting me know. Look at the time, past 10 p.m. No responsible woman will still be outside by now. Hello, dear. Good evening. <laughs> hmm? Where are you coming from? Oh, the church. I went to church for private prayers, and after them we had a meeting. Is everything all right? Amanda, don't deceive me. I was at the church as far back as 7 p.m., and everywhere was locked. Oh, after the meeting we went for PS visitation. I'm sure you came after we had left. Is that why you also walked up? Hmm? Amanda, who do you think you are trying to fool? Me? But I've, I've told you all the truth that I know. Honestly. You know what? You will have to leave this house until you are prepared to tell me where you are coming from. Honey, has it got into that? It's not that bad now. Then which one is leave the house again? Please. I'm not lying to you. I said leave this house. What is the meaning of all this? Which one is leave the house? I just told you where I'm coming from. We, we, we leave the house. What, are you asking me to leave yes, the house? Leave. Hey! Ah, Amanda, why this late? He threw me out. Who? That poor gardener. So what do you intend to do? What do you mean by that? Spend the night in your place, of course. Amanda, Amanda, listen to me. You know I love Rose so much and I don't want to have problem with Rose just and I don't have that. Oh, Amanda, you just... What's wrong with you? Where are your manners? Listen, the secrecy of this relationship depends on how well you play your card. Do you understand? Bruno. And who is this thing? No, she's not a thing. She's my cousin. Your what? She's my cousin. Since when? What are you doing in this house? We come on, come here. With all the things I have to concern you, let you. Are you out of your mind? I left this house barely one hour ago, and you bring in another. Bring me to the bedroom. The bedroom. I think I was rather too harsh on her. I better go looking for her.
Oh my God. No, 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 no. Wake up, wake up. It's 8 a.m. What? I thought it was. Wake up! What? I didn't know it was this. Oh, oh, oh. now I have what? to go. Why did you spend the night? Hey, Amanda. Outside the house. Outside where? I searched all the corners of this compound but did not see you. I went back to the church to sleep. I see. I got to the gate, but the security men said they did not see you go in or come out of the estate. What is all this? I have just told you where I slept. What is it? Uh -uh. Are you doubting me? I slept at the church. What is it? Meanwhile, why are you worried about where I slept? Were you not the one that sent me out? You sent me out and now you're asking, uh, asking me where I slept. I'm very sorry, Amanda. I'm sorry. I have now realized that I overreacted. Please, forgive and forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not being fair to me. You're not being fair to me. Oh. I married you out of the love that I have for this family. I condescended to marry you. Eh? What do you have? What do you have? It's not like you have everything. Eh? Hey, come on, Gardner. I'm old enough to be my father, yet I married you. Okay. Why would you just take me as a wife? Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> Enough. I've already said I am sorry. It's not so fair. The way you're treating me, it's just not fair. Go. Yes, just go. I don't like this, so I don't. Just go over here, please. I'm so sorry. I've done everything to make you happy, yet. It's what enough. is it? Is it a crime to love you? It's enough now, Amanda. It's enough. You don't be treating me, treating me anyhow. It's enough. You don't be like that. I'm driving her too hard. Alice, you know I'm writing my last paper tomorrow. Uh -huh. So when is Bruno coming to pick us up? Huh? Did you just ask that? <laughs> I can't believe you asked that, you know. Come, don't tell me you didn't include uh, welfare in your family planning. Alice, please, when are you going to stop all this, your insinuations? Stop what? What am I insinuating? <laughs> stop all this. Okay. I'll speak no more. But all I know is that, hey, call lover boy and let's get out of here. Call him now so that he'll take us home. Okay, now he's my lover boy, huh? Eh? Uh, before. I don't blame you, Sha. I'm going to call him later. It's just that you have a foul mouth. What is the foul mouth, eh? Is it not your lover boy? Uh -uh. So, so I can't just have a friend anymore. What is your problem? Stop all. He's my cousin, you know. My closest cousin. We are this tight. This close. So leave all these things, okay? <laughs> we know all these things, alright? So forget it. <laughs> What could be keeping Amanda outside so very late at night? Her nocturnal life is becoming habitual. I think I better go look out for her. Anyone home? Dear? Uh, what is this for? Are you upstairs? Hello, my dear. I was just calling out to you. Amanda, where are you coming from? The church. 
church, church, church. Through which gate did you go to church? What is that supposed to mean? The main gate, of course. There's only one exit and entrance into this estate. You're a liar. A big one. Uh -uh. I have been at that gate for over five hours. I wonder you did not cross that gate at all. And the security man there confirmed that you never crossed that gate today. So, you have now abandoned your job as a gardener. You have become Amanda's security watch, eh? Okay, all right. Tell me to where you're coming from. I want to know who has been keeping you so late. What do you take me for? Your house girl or your slave? Uh, I would not take that from you. I would not. Ah! I should take you to where? What is that supposed to mean? Ah! Amanda, you have the cards to talk to me this way. What is that supposed to mean? Why are you sniffing around? What is it? What are you following me around for? For God's sake, Amanda, get up there and pack your things. Leave my house now. Me? Leave yes. your house? <laughs> you must be joking because I'm not leaving. Yeah. I am not going anywhere. And if I must leave, then you have to pay me. For all those months that you've been parading yourself as my husband, using me, now you think you can just throw me out like that? You must be joking, no? Because I'm not leaving. Okay, just wait. You will know who is strong. Even think about it, Amanda. Don't! How dare you in your widest room think of moving into my house? What will become of Rose? How do I explain that to her? Rose, 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 everywhere I go, Rose! Sweetheart, we're lovers. Damn what anybody thinks. Let's let's just enjoy what we have. Amanda, I want to remind you that you threw yourself at me. My commitment is to Rose, not you. But the only thing I can do for you right now is to let you in for today. By tomorrow, I expect you to look for somewhere else to stay. I'm bringing Rose back from school. Rose and Alice are coming back from school. They're on vacation. I am so disappointed in you. I placed so much reliance on you. You are the reason that I've been thrown out of the house. And now you can't even give me the solace that I desire. How can you do this to me? <laughs> Trying will not solve this problem. My advice to you is go and plead with Rose to talk to her father into accepting you back to their house. But as for your demand, Amanda, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my shoes! Oh God, what have I done to myself? What? man like you offer anybody. Why do you people always listen to other people talk and then you copy what they say? What do I offer you? What can you offer yourself? When you come to our house. You know who, who we are? Bye bye, GK and uh, Ben. I hope I'm safe with this, your visit. Well, <clears throat> your safety shall be determined by you. Yes. 
we have been appointed as trustees to this estate and we've assessed this apartment and decided that henceforth you shall be paying 250,000 per annum. What? Obejiki, you should have told him 500,000 naira for him to negotiate. Mm -hmm. You know me, I like to go straight to the point. You don't want him to have a heart attack? Obejiki, Chief Messier Madu, who is the owner of this estate, allocated this building to me as my official quarters. So what, what are you people talking about? <laughs> as your official quarters? Yes! Nothing. Where on earth do they allocate a duplex like this? As big as this. To a common gardener like you as an official quarter? Where? It is not for you to decide. Nothing. You have been informed. Do not say we did not tell you. You have one month to comply. And if you fail to do so, you will leave us with no other choice but to evict you from this estate and throw you on the streets. Let me see where you will do gardener work and be able to eat, not to talk about sit, sit, sitting here or living in a duplex and telling me it's your official quarters. I look at to you. Nazi. Do not wait for us to come back here again. Come back. Oh, what is keeping Bruno now? Ah, as if he doesn't know we are coming today. You better be Bruno. Come in. Hey, hey, here comes the long awaited guest. Mm. Mm. My suitcase is ready. Uh, ah, good morning, ma. You came with him? Yes. <laughs> My suitcase is ready. I've been waiting for you since. Right, right. But as if you forgot, we are leaving today. You're welcome. Wow. See who came to take me back home. You're welcome. Yeah. How are you? What is it? What? What happened? <sighs> Your father threw me out of the house. Threw you out? Why? What What did you do? He said I came back late. And where did you go to? To the church. Well, not to worry. We're all going back home together. Don't mind my dad. He said I shouldn't come back to that. Oh, mind you. We're all going back together. It doesn't have a choice now. The guy is just being jealous and I'm not protecting him. No, no, he's in love. <laughs> Let me just get dressed real quick, okay? I, I was just trying to tidy up something, didn't I? Think. I'll be back. Just make yourself comfortable. I'll be back. Let me get dressed. Okay. okay. Please make it quick. I want to get out of here. Uh, sir. Yeah. Please, I, I came to plead with you to. Please give me some time to prepare myself and get another smaller place to pack out into. Please. What are you talking about? Hey, because of the uh, new rent attached to my apartment, sir. What rent? Uh, sir, Obayajike and uh, Bain came to my house. Uh, they told me that they were now appointed uh, trustees to the estate. And that my annual rent henceforth would be two hundred and fifty thousand. What? I, I don't have the money. Obejike, yes, please ignore them. I didn't send them. In fact, go and tell Obejike that I want to see him right away. Hey, okay, sir. Rent, trustees, just go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What is wrong with this? Have you brought the money, Gardner? Uh, not, not quite, sir. Uh, Chief Mezimado asked me to tell you to see him in that regard. <laughs> you mean you reported me to him? No, no, sir. Do you realize that Mezimado is my younger brother? Huh? And that in our family setting, I have more authority than him. Huh? Well, that, that is not the issue here, sir. What is the issue? In this case, uh, 
uh, Monsieur Mado is the owner of the estate and not your family, sir. Now get out of my house now. Get out! Get, get, get out! Get out! Out! Get out! Foolish man! You see what I have been saying about Mezi and the things he does. You know? Bring my image down before an ordinary gardener. That is insulting. I give an order to a gardener, he can't ask it. And that one comes to sit down on my chair to tell me that I should go and see my brother in connection with his pain for staying in the estate. Can you imagine? Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know whether he realizes that blood is thicker than water. He needs to, he needs to be taught. Rose, my Rose. Rose, daddy is back. Good evening, sir. My God. What are you doing in my house, Amanda? Um, it, it's... Now get out before I pull this house down. Get out. Daddy. I said get out here Daddy. before I pull this house down. Daddy, wait. She's not going anywhere. What is it? Will you shut your trap or I shut it for you? Now leave this house before I strangle you. Daddy, if she leaves, I'll leave with her. Uh, now get out. Daddy, I've never seen in this kind of rage before. What did she do? Now she has to leave this house first. Okay, Amanda, just wait outside, okay? Wait outside. Daddy, what did she do now? Eh? I told you I needed all the peace in this world. I, I have never wanted to marry any other woman. But you lured me into living with this woman all in the name of a helping hand. And the help doesn't come from her. I wash my clothes myself. I cook my food myself. All she does is to flirt around with me and come back to this house anytime she wants. Ah, Daddy, that's not fair. You know Amanda would never do a thing like that. You're only being jealous. I mean, she told me she went to church and she came back late, but... That is a cheap lie, my dear. That is a cheap lie. Listen, the person she's going out with lives within this estate. And on that fateful day, it was evident that she never crossed the gates of this estate. Daddy, to tell you the truth, you are not being fair to this woman. Come on, I mean, even if you want to send her away, why don't you just spare her this embarrassment? We can all sit down and discuss this thing out like adult. Listen, Rose, I don't like what you are doing. You have always been at my neck each time I take pragmatic decisions, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Please, now, just this once, please. Just this one now, Daddy. Okay. All right. Call her. Thank you. Um, Amanda. Amanda. Hmm. Why did your father throw her out? <sighs> the truth of that matter is that my dad is just being jealous. Hmm. He's accusing Amanda of cheating on him. Hmm. So funny. So these old people could go jealous. It's not funny. <clears throat> Daddy is so convinced. You know what he said? He said he's so sure that her so-called boyfriend lives in the same estate. Could it be that he hired some detective to investigate on her? See, there's one thing nobody can take away from my dad. That's his intelligence. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just be sure his insinuations are wrong after all. Otherwise... She could be fooling your father. Well, for some reason, I'm very sure, I'm convinced that she would never do a thing like that. So, that will get her very, just probably old age or something, I don't know. But what do you think? I think nothing. It bothers one that Rose left this house since morning and she's not yet back. Look at the time. I don't know if I should go looking for her. Where did she go? She went to see that her boyfriend, um, I don't know his name, the one he came to the house with the other time. Rose will have to severe her relationship with that boy immediately. She has to. I think she so to too. Nice. I think so too. Daddy, good evening. Mama, good evening. 
Good evening. Rose, where are you coming from? Uh, I went to see a friend. Which one? Bruno. The guy I came home with the other time. You know, you will have to see the relationship you have with that guy immediately. Why? Oh, why? <clears throat> because men are heartless, deceitful, and undependable. That is it. But Daddy, it's not fair for you to, you know, generalize on all of them like that. Who knows, Bruno could just be an exception. Rose, I'm not asking for your opinion. I am passing an instruction, okay? Rose, come, come this way. You see, what your father has just said is not out of place. It is morally and spiritually wrong for you to keep male relationships. Why don't you just wait until you're married like me? Then you can have any, you know, enjoy your relationship and do whatever you want to do. Rose! Rose! Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Yes, my love. I have a surprise package for you. A surprise? Uh-huh. What surprise? I'll show you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Amanda. I don't believe Happy it. Happy birthday to you. Oh my god. <laughs> I wished what? I didn't know you remembered. Well, well. Hard for me. Oh, you mean so much to me. Yeah. You mean so much to me too. You know you're great. Um, I love you so much. It's good to know that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give it to you again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you. Happy birthday, Amanda. Happy birthday to you. Rose, where is Amanda? Oh, she went to the market. Market? When? Since morning. <laughs> you see? You see what I've been saying about her? You see it? Daddy, she told me today was her birthday. That she loves to go to the market and buy a few things for herself. It's just that she's taking a bit too long. Okay. You know what you do for me? You go to the church. If you find her there, then you come back with her. Church? Yes, I know what I mean. Go to the church. Okay. been up to eight hours since you came and uh, I don't want you to have problem with your family. Don't you think it's time for you to go? What is this supposed to mean? Are you asking me to leave? Uh, no, 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 no. Amanda, I, you don't have to misunderstand me. I'll go. No, no, you don't have to misunderstand me. 
It's just that I don't want you to have problems with your people. <sighs> Sweetheart, once I have you, every other problem is surmountable. <sighs> Come to bed. Church keys are under lock and key. There's no one there. They said there's no activity going on there today. I see. Well, I am very happy that you are a witness to this one, Rose. Daddy, cool it. Don't preempt anything yet. All right. Okay, but I know what I'm saying. I really don't know what you're doing. I'm sticking to you. Amanda, Amanda, hmm? I, I don't like what you're doing, eh? You don't have to behave like a small girl. Look at the time, it's getting late. Come on, come on, start going. I don't want you to cause problems for yourself. All right, I'll leave. Welcome. Ah, leave me, Joe. something I want to tell Don't tell me anything, ah. You have to behave like a mature woman. Bruno, that's an insult, you know. Whatever. Has it caught into that? All right, I'm leaving. How do you offer this insult? I'm just tired of taking this insult from you anyway. What is it? Every time I come here, you must make me feel bad before I do. Huh? Or she insults me all the time because Did you say you were going to the church? I decided to go from the market. Meaning you are just coming back from the church now. So how long were you at the church? About five hours. I've been at the church since 2 p.m. Rose, what happened when you got to the church basically? There is no activity going on in the church. The church gates are under lock and key. What is the meaning of this? Uh, what is this supposed to mean? I don't have a life of my own anymore. With due respect, I am married to you. I'm your wife, not your mate. I just told you where I'm coming from. It's either you take it or you leave it. Excuse me. Look, no, did you see it? Auntie Amanda. Amanda. What has gotten into you? What has gotten into you for Christ's sake? You left this house since morning, came back this evening, yet you still have the mouth to run. Rose, I've tolerated enough nonsense from you and your father. As you can see, I'm trying to undress. Please excuse me. <laughs> no. There is no way I am leaving this room until I get some sort of explanation to all of this. Very well. If you do not want to excuse me, I'll excuse you.
Bruno, my stay here will be very short. You know, my father has warned me against coming to see you. I just don't want him to have any idea that I came out. I really relied on your coming today. I was hopeful you are going to help me tidy my room and at the same time prepare food for me. Hell no. That can't be possible. Okay, look, I'll, I'll just help you tidy up your room. But there won't be time for me to make food for you today. <laughs> Bruno, guess what? What is it? <laughs> you won't believe it. I have finally confirmed that Amanda has a boyfriend. Really? I'm telling you. Who could that be? I don't know. It's only time that will tell. Time will surely tell who the person is. You know, yesterday was her birthday. This guy gave her gifts, gave her romantic cards, perfumes, wristwatches, name. Where were you? I was looking for you. I stepped out to see a friend. I hope not that same friend of yours. What's his name again? What is his name? No, not him. Okay. Should your father ask after me? Um, I'm going out. I'll be back soon. Where to? I'm going to see a friend. Wait, wait. Have you made anything for him to eat when he returns? You're asking your house girl. You can't cook. Hmm? I'm sorry. You better be. me. What is the problem? I'm fed up with the entire game. What does that mean? I can't continue to play between you and Rose. I know your aim is to separate Rose and I. I don't understand you. You don't understand me. Amanda, you left a condom by my bed drawer and you left your underpants in my room when you know that you are not the only woman that comes in here. It was in your room, I left them. You know, I've been looking all over the place for it. I had to walk home without my underwear. Can you imagine that? Amanda, please leave my house. Sweetheart, don't you think you're rather taking this too harsh? I will not have anything to do with you until I make up with Rose. If I don't have Rose, I will not have you. My commitment is to Rose, not you. Oh, you just realized that? Yes! Please, leave. <laughs> you think I'm going to walk out that door, just like that, and let you be? And that's what you're going to do right now? You best think again, because I would not let go. Oh. We started this together. We will finish it. Really? I will excuse you for now. I'll come back when you are seen. Leave my house! Where is Amanda? Uh, she went out to see a friend. Where? That I don't know. And what did she cook for me? Nothing. But I'm trying to make you something to eat. There's something on the fire. I see. This marriage is becoming very, very interesting. You know, I, I feel like marrying more and more wives. Dad, that is so ironical. <laughs> really? Like, that is okay. Let me go and check what I put on the fire. Okay. It's me, Bruno. Don't exaggerate. Alice, there's something important I need to discuss with you. Um, can I see you? As soon as possible. No. 
naughty cousin. Please come tomorrow. Please, I'm begging you. Huh? Okay. So you left this house without leaving any food for me, eh? But why, why is it that my daughter will always bother herself to cook when I have a wife? If I may ask you, what do you think is the purpose of this marriage? I ask you to. What is the purpose of this marriage? To wash my clothes, you can't. Make food for me, you can't. Then all you do is to leave this house and come in any time you like. Buy me clothes, you don't. Give me money, you don't. Make love to me, you don't. All you do is every morning you wear those oversized boots of yours into the garden the whole day. Now you have mouth to complain. Amanda. Eh, eh, don't Amanda me. Don't Amanda me. This is between husband and wife. It does not concern you in any way. So shut those ma that mouth of yours. Leave her. Leave her, let her insult me. Go ahead. I don't blame you. I only blame death that took my wife away and left the cab for this animal to take advantage of. Me, animal. Of course, yes. Me, animal. Yes! Well, it takes an animal to marry an animal. Jesus Christ. Did you see that? Daddy, I'm so sorry. Coming. Hi. Oh, Alex, Alex. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm okay, you're looking fine. Thank you. So, what is the call all about? Um, Alex. Hmm? I need you to help me talk to Rose to come back to me. I'm having a slight problem with her. And I know that you're the only one that can talk to her to come back to me. So what exactly is the problem? Well, actually, I'll tell you. Mm. She saw a condom and a lady's underpants in my wardrobe. Is that what you call a slight problem? Alex, mm. I will appreciate it if you display her convention and let her come back to me. Too bad. He's not nice. So... What is the guarantee that you not repeat this again? Oh, I trust me. I cross my heart. I cross my heart. If you want me to cross my leg, I'm going to do it right now. It's not going to repeat itself again. You know me now. I won't want to go back there over this. I know. In that case... What? <laughs> my fee. Miss Machinery. Okay, I will sort you out. Just go and do the job first. You're still keeping my hand hanging. Alice, trust me. I'll give you something. Deal. It's a deal. Sign. It's a deal. Seal. It's a deal. Hey, I'm going to their house. It's a deal. It's a deal. Deal. Okay. <laughs> Alice. It's my cousin too, like me. Yes? Yes, I'm coming. How is it? Oh. I see. Good morning. Good morning, Alice. How are you? I'm fine. 
is your time. I was actually taking a nap when I heard you know. It's alright. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. I'll call Rose for you. Okay. Thank you. Rose! Rose! Yes? Alice is here to see you. Don't upset her no, again. No, it's alright. Um, Rose, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. I'm very, very sorry. It's alright. Come on, sit here. <coughs> Alex, Alex. Uh, I know. We are using next weekend. Oh. I just hope you and Rose will include coming to take us back to school into your love no, agenda. No problem, no problem. Rose, please remind him. Of. I'll tell him. Oh, okay. So, bye. Alex, bye bye. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm sorry, right? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. What, what do you want to take? Nothing, I'm fine. You're okay. You don't want to take anything. It's alright. Something that bothers me. And what could it be? You know, the next semester is about to resume. Yes, I know. When I think about all the financial difficulties I'll have to go through again this time, considering the fact that you don't have money to give to me, it bothers me. <laughs> if I were able to see you through the last uh, semester, I think I should be able to see you through this one too. Okay? Daddy, we are saying the same thing. Look, I just don't want to go through what I went through last semester again. Well, I'm convinced within me that I sent enough money to you last semester. <laughs> Daddy, please. In this modern year and age, how would you expect 2,000 euros to be enough for my registration, accommodation and feeding? To what? 2,000 naira? Yeah, hey, now that's the only money you gave to me last semester. Come on. Don't be mischievous, my dear. You out of your senses. Me sent two thousand naira to you. Daddy, I'm sorry, but that's all the money you give to me now. I have never sent two thousand naira to you. The first amount of money I sent for your registration was thirty thousand naira. The least amount of money I sent to you through Amanda was five thousand naira. Yes. Well, I, I, I didn't get any such amount of money. I just got the 2,000 naira man that said you gave to me. That was all. Wait a minute. But, and you did not come home of your own. Better still write to me to find out why. Uh, I'm surprised. Dad, I wrote you several letters, yes? What? I wrote you letters severally. I just resigned to my fate when Auntie made me understand that your health was you know, getting very feeble because of my academic burden. I just did not want to aggravate the whole situation. That's why I... Get me Amanda. She's not at home. She's not at home? Okay. Just let me know when she returns. Tell me when she comes back. Bruno, I came here today for us to define this relationship. What am I to you? Just a friend. What kind of friend? 
a friend without any ties. And what about the intimacy we shared? Oh, that was in the past. I'm calling everything off because I want to be faithful to Rose. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Because if I can't have you, no one else, least of all Rose, will. And once I leave this place, I'm going straight to have a chat with her. I think it is high time she knows about us. What? Yes. Yeah. Amanda, Amanda. Hey, Amanda, wait. Amanda, wait. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Amanda, why are you behaving like this? I thought you said it's going to be a secret between both of us. Oh, well, I changed my mind. The minute that you made up your mind to abandon me. Goodbye. Come, come. Amanda, come. I am very, very sorry. But I was only joking. I know what you want to hear from me right now. Okay, I'll tell you. You are still there with me. It's okay. It huh? reminds me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Look at my face. Look into my eyes. I'm serious. Come on. Amanda. Hey. Hi. Amanda. Oh, stop it. I'm saying that from the heart. Um, I'm What's wrong with you, stop? From here. Come on. <laughs> drop your bag. Come on. Drop your bag. <laughs> Amanda, baby. It's okay. Oh. I missed you. I missed you too. Show me how much. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he's still at home. I thought he's gone. I see. I have come to tell you how disappointed I am with you. Why do you go around the estate harassing people like this accommodation to parent you? This is embarrassing to my person. Now let me tell you. Let me tell you, Monsieur Mado. Irrespective of your wealth, you are still a very small boy to me. You understand? I have tolerated your insults enough. And you are going to regret this. You will regret it. I don't want you to demand any dime from anybody living in my estate. Is that clear? No, no, see what I'm saying. Can I go anywhere and tell anybody that this is my brother? That is behaving this way and they believe me? Eh? You mean letting me before, before a gardener and, 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 and all this? Inconsequential people. The boy are trained in school. He regret it. What kind of rubbish is that? Who does he think he is? He had to shout at somebody for nothing. Amanda, what happened to all the money I gave to you for Rose on different occasions? What sort of question is that? Rose! Yes, Dad. Come. So how much did you say you got from Amanda last se semester? 2,000 Naira. The other 2,000 she told me about, she never gave it to me. So what is all this rubbish about 2,000 Naira? Did I give you only 2,000 Naira for her? What is wrong with giving Rose money out of my discretion? The 2,000 Naira that I gave to you was from my personal purse. What's wrong with that? Then what happened to the 30,000 Naira and the 10,000 Naira I gave to you for her? Rose, you mean that boy, um, what's his name, B Bruno? You mean he didn't give you the money that I gave to him? Bruno gave me money, but that was out of his own purse. What makes you think it's from his purse? Oh, it's not my fault that I gave your boyfriend money to give to you, and he decides to use it to pose as if it was coming from his purse. Daddy, Bruno gave me money. That was because money was not coming from home, so he just took that responsibility of helping me. The money he gave to me was from his own personal pocket, and not, not from her. Listen to yourself. I didn't know you were such a big fool. What does he do for a living? Or what 
did you do for him that is paying? Didn't you think about it? Rose, that money came from me and not him. You see? You see what I've been telling you about me? That young man is irresponsible. Thank God you even acknowledge that he gave you money at all. This is just a tip of the iceberg. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't agree. I do not. In fact, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to go and confront Bruno on this. Oh, fine and well. If you excuse me. several occasions I was giving money to give to Rose. On one occasion, I lost it to street robbers. On the, on the second, I misplaced it. Now they're asking after the money. Amanda, how could you have done a thing like that? I didn't come here for you to question me. I came for you to offer help. Rose will be here any minute from now. And I told her, say this how would Rose rate me how she rates you is inconsequential are you helping me or not Do you ask? During our last semester, how many times did she give you money to give to me? Um, um, okay. Well, well, well. Um, she gave me money on several occasions, but um, I decided not to inform you since I cut off your needs. God, I am so disappointed in you to say the least. You made me believe that that money came from your pocket. And to think that I actually complained to you, telling you that my father couldn't cater for my needs. Little did I know that he was actually giving me more than enough and you decided to take the glory. Rose, please, you don't have to misunderstand me. I am sorry. I am very, very sorry. You are nothing close to what I thought you were. Please, baby. That's enough. Rose, Rose.
that Amanda was right. Bruno confirmed that he actually collected money from her on several occasions. But he just misrepresented the whole thing. Hmm. You see, he misrepresented the money given to him by someone else to give to you. That is criminal. Bruce, I tell you once again, severe every relationship you have with that young man. Please. Really, I don't want to have anything to do with him anymore. Oh, good. Good. So, sir, I still have a few of my things there. Now go right away and pick them up, okay? Okay. I will. Good. I'm telling you, the guilt of what I'm doing is weighing me down. And Rose will never forgive me. What does it matter whether she forgives you or not? You did it for me. For me. What is it, Rose? I'm asking you, my daughter, what is the problem? Okay. So he refused you taking your things, eh? Then what is it? Daddy. Yes. Amanda is the best. I caught Amanda in bed with Bruno, Daddy. What you said, you caught Amanda in bed with your boyfriend. <laughs> you see, you are still a little girl to understand. I saw the beast in Amanda so many years ago. This will teach you a very big lesson as a young girl. You trust nobody except God. You've seen what you've been looking for. Eh? Leave my house. Leave my house now and don't step in here again. We're in this together. Stop playing the victim. Oh, you're a devil. You're a devil, serious one. Don't play with me. What is that? Not now. How do you want me to come face them now? Don't allow me to be rough handed. I'm not going anywhere. Get out of this place now. You're not going there. Badly hurt you must feel now, but I'm truly sorry. I shouldn't have done this, but I'm sure that that Bruno boy, I'm sure he hypnotized me. Because I mean, how could I do this? You know what pains me the most? 
it is the fact that I've just come to realization that you have no conscience. So you have to fight shame and you still feel the fix to step into this house again. Let me explain this. Please save me your stupid explanation. I couldn't have done this, you know. I, I'm just sure. Shut, shut, just shut up. That boy must have hypnotized me. Shut him. your mouth. You just disgust me. Amanda. Good, good afternoon. Please get up there and gently pack your things. I mean, pack your things and leave my house this moment. I should have known you were a pig. Now go back to the slums where you belong. <laughs> 